Hey everybody and welcome to my channel, Lady T's Things That Bling. And today, I'm going to take these plain mugs, 11 ounces and 15 ounces, and I'm going to turn them into this. Isn't she gorgeous? Vibrant colors. And this. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. Alright, what you need to do is go to your Cricut Design Space and open it up. And then you're going to choose your image or images. And once you choose your images, you're going to upload them into Design Space. And then, what I did was change the size of it to a size 9, so I can get it to a more manageable size so I can shrink it. Or put it to the size 3. I'm doing both of them 3 by 3. I think that's a pretty good size for these coffee mugs. However... If you like to do yours larger, especially on the 15 ounce cup, there's still enough room for you to probably do a four, but you would be pushing it with this type of image because of her hair. Um, but it's up to you. I decided to do a three by three. I was more comfortable with that. I actually printed out the four by four and it did seem a little bit too large. Well, I know it was too large for the 11 ounce. It would be just like just making it and I didn't want to do that so after you select your images and your sizes you hit make it and it's going to take you to this screen it's going to show you your images now this part is very important okay it said continue but you have to make sure before you send it to the printer that you turn on mirror you have to do that because they have words and if you don't hit mirror they're going to print out the wrong way the opposite way you don't want that Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so after you hit the mirror, then you click done. And then you hit send to printer. Choose your printer and take off the bleed. I take the bleed off all the time because when you don't, it's just too thick. And once you take off the bleed, you hit print. And then the computer will send it to the printer. And mine is the Workforce 7710. And here we come with the images. Voila. Now I'm just going to cut the images and cut the border away because you don't want that to be a part of your image. If you keep that on there, then it'll be a part of your image. They're called, called registration marks, so you want to make sure you cut those off. And I don't know if you can see it, but the, the words to the images look backwards, and that's because when you place the image face down, then the words will be the right way. So here I am placing the image on, I believe that's the 15 ounce cup. I could be wrong. No, nope, that's the 11 ounce cup. You want to make sure you get it as straight as you can. And that's why I'm putting the tape on there because I want the tape to hold the image in the place where I want the image uh, to be on there. Because if you don't put the tape on there, you try to wrap it with the parchment paper, um, it's going to move around. So that's why that tape is good. And that's heat-resistant tape. So in case you're wondering what kind of tape it is, you cannot use regular tape with this. Now that's the 15-ounce cup, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to tape it just like I did the 11 ounce cup. Just want to make sure that it's straight. Now I'm putting the parchment paper on as an added layer. Um, security because really if you don't put the parchment paper on and you put the green um, sleeve on there the image can bleed through and become come onto your green um, sleeve right there I've had it done before this is why I'm telling you from experience Make sure you put the parchment paper on the mug before you put the green sleeve on because 
I messed up a sleeve by doing that. So you just want to make sure that you have that part covered with the parchment paper. Because some might say, well, is that a necessary step? Oh, definitely. In my opinion, it's definitely necessary. And those uh, sleeves I got specifically for 15-ounce cups. However, it was holding tight on the 11-ounce mug as well. So I did use it. And the mug press that I have, I got that specifically for 15-ounce mugs. I don't have to hook it up to my heat press. It's all, it does whatever it does itself. Um, so, I like it because I don't have to go over there and untwist anything from my heat press. I can just use this and, you know, not worry about it. And I'm happy about that too. So, I got that from Amazon. It was on sale. Um, the first time it went on sale, I didn't uh, get it. But... The second time I came around, I was like, I'm not going to miss it this time. And it was $81. And these things go very quickly. And as you can see, I have on a silicone glove because this heat press is heated to 400 degrees. And when I tell you it's hot, it's hot. So, you know, I've learned that from experience as well. You can't just take it out and start handling it with your bare hands. You cannot do that. And then, um, you can see there, if you can see through that paper, and if you can see that well through the parchment paper, that's how it would be as far as, you know, just putting it on there versus, um, not putting it on there. So I prefer to put the par parchment paper on there, um, and then put the sleeve on. Oh, wow. Look at that vibrant, beautiful beautiful this is the first time i've had my cups come out this vibrant um and a young lady in uh brown girls cricket uh with charmaine galloway's group on um facebook i can't remember the young lady's name if i can remember i'm gonna try to place it in the comments in the video but she i asked the question in the group how do i get my images to come out vibrant and beautiful because I kept seeing everybody's images coming out and mine kept coming out dull and she gave me some specific instructions on what to do and I did it and that was almost two weeks ago when she gave me the instructions um and I finally did it today and I am so pleased uh at how this came out I really am yes so that's my silicone glove again I have another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. But now that's the 11 ounce mug. And I had to adjust the pressure on this cup press. So that the 11 ounce would have enough pressure on it to um, have the image melt into the cup. I said melt because I couldn't think of the right word. But for the image to be integrated into the cup <laughs> for the image to just be on the cup okay stop it <laughs> so here i am trying to take the tape off because i can't wait look at how beautiful that is i'm done that is beautiful what i'm done that is beautiful i am so proud of myself and i'm so proud of the lady that gave me these instructions in brown girls craft and honey, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Well, y'all, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like, give me a thumbs up, and to subscribe and leave me a comment. All right, all right. This is Lady T signing out. Stay tuned for the next video. All right. Peace out.